Hey everybody, I'm Louie from Jaffram, home of the Motorcycle Gear Experts, and today we're taking a closer look at the AFX FX41 DS Dual Sport Motorcycle Helm, available at Jaffram.com. This new FX41 DS helmet is a new addition to AFX's Dual Sport helmet lineup, alongside the popular FX39 DS. Now the 41 is not a replacement for the 39, they actually excel at different things. The FX39 is very much a dirt focused helmet with on-road capabilities, while this new FX41 is more of a street focused helmet with off-road capabilities. The shell of the FX41 is made of poly alloy plastic and carries both the DOT and ECE ratings. The shape of the helmet is intermediate oval, so it's going to fit a lot of folks' heads, and the size chart is accurate, so be sure to use it to establish your fit. Now you're going to notice that the shell is very aggressively designed compared to the 39, and some of this radical new shape is functional. For example, the steep curve of the side of the shell is designed to increase a rider's head mobility. This is especially handy for checking blind spots. The biggest difference between the FX41 and the FX39 is the shield and visor configuration. See, the FX39 has a shared single axis mount for both the face shield and the visor. This new FX41 has two separate mounting points. The 39's single axis system promotes the use of goggles without removing the face shield. You can still use goggles with the 41, but you have to remove the face shield to do so. Also, to use the 39 with the face shield installed but without the visor, side plates must be installed to capture the shield. Now, while the 41 also comes with side plates, they're aesthetic and not really necessary. You can install them or not, regardless of what combination of shield and visor you're using. There have also been some modifications to the visor and shield themselves. See, the visor of the FX41 is smaller and lighter as a result of the relocated mounting and the visor's peak is reinforced with this bumper. This bumper strengthens the visor and makes it more rigid, making it quieter at highway speeds. The shield update, obvious and significant. The shield has been contoured to flatten out the viewing area. This new shape keeps the image true by negating the refraction caused by the helmet's pointy off-road shape. The area of the helmet that received the biggest upgrade, in my opinion, has got to be the ventilation. And the vent scheme on the 39, quite good. But the vent scheme on this 41 is absolutely excellent. The chin vent actually looks smaller at first glance, but that's because AFX divided the vent into six ports versus the 39's four. Now these outer two ports funnel air down the sides of the chin bar and into the helmet via these reflector clad channels. Just like that, the days of sweaty matted helmet beard are over. The faster you ride, the fluffier and more luxurious your beard becomes. Pretty genius, really. Another one of the vent features I really like are the eyebrow vents. Now with the shield raised, cool air is channeled through the shell to help dry the liner. With the shield closed, the low pressure venturi air at the back of the helmet draws air across the shield into the eyebrow vents, improving fog management. If that's not enough ventilation for you, don't worry. There are literally 17 points of ventilation on this bad mamma jamma. There's two adjustable vents on the forehead and another on the top of the shell. And there's an additional adjustable exhaust vent on the rear of the shell and multiple static vents covering the helmet on both the sides and rear of this unit. And there are probably vents on this helmet that I haven't even found yet. Another feature that's been added to the new FX41 is the internal sunshade. Now this sunshade's operated with this slide here on the left side of the shell. To remove it for cleaning or replacement, lower the shade all the way down and pull firmly out on the shield, starting on one side. Lastly, let's take a closer look at the liner. Now the design is very similar to that on the 39. The material's softer though and more absorbent. Now if we take out the cheek pads, you can see the cutout that matches up with the intake vent port on the side of the chin bar. Now, I'm telling you, they're not faking it with this ventilation. This stuff is all over the place, and it really works. Now, removing the headliner is simple, but it takes some patience, as does the reinstallation. See, the chin bar EPS and crown EPS sandwich the edges of the headliner, so you have to feed the headliner between the two EPSs to reinstall it. It's a little bit of a pain. It's not that bad. You'll be all right. And with the headliner removed, you can see the channeled dual-density EPS that absorbs impact energy so your melon doesn't have to. The new AFX FX41 DS Dual Sport Motorcycle Riding Helmet is a fantastic new addition to the AFX line. It's perfect for the rider looking for a highly breathable, value-priced helmet for the street with a little dirt mixed in. Thanks for joining me for a closer look. To see more AFX, subscribe to Jaffram on YouTube. Click the link below to go to our website. Direct your questions to the comments section of our videos. Click the live chat icon or give us a call at one 877 go helmet Like us on Facebook for daily deals and rider news. And remember, when it comes to our customers, We'll ride the extra mile. I'm Louie. You'll see me next time.